So, are you going to be one of the new recruits for the uh, recruits team for 2022? Um, here at CS, we decided that we started up a new recruits team every single year from now on. It's just to get a lot of uh, new members in to teach them the basics of, uh, of rocket building and rocket flying. And then also just to sort of get them ready for taking on uh, the bigger projects like all the projects we have in the speaker rocket. So we uh, quite successfully had the first recruits team started last year. And uh, this is the recruits rocket that is, is, uh, it is it's getting finished now and we're hoping to fly it this summer. Um, we want to do the same thing again, but with a new recruits team starting up just in January 2022. And well, lucky for you, applications are now open. Um, we're going to look for, uh, for some, some, some good people that can help us out with this. Some of them will have to be around Copenhagen or very close to, Co to Copenhagen in order to be able to help us out physically here at our workshop. And then there are some fewer members that could actually be more or less placed all around the globe and help us out still uh, by remote. So what we're looking for is uh, 10, oh, sorry, we're looking for 12 to 16 new people. And uh, I have a little uh, list here of skill sets that we're looking for, so uh, just to keep track of it. Basically, a very important part that we need to emphasize strongly that we need is we need a team which is dedicated to making videos, to interacting with fans and supporters on social media, that do video editing and would like to tell the story of the recruits team later on going on to tell the story of the, uh, of the first um, manned amateur rocket to reach space when we get there. So we're looking for specifically two, uh, P two media people which like to do filming, interviews, stories, etc. And then we're actually looking for a media producer. We want someone who wants to have, so to have a coherent vision of how to tie the entire uh, story of the uh, recruits uh, rocket 2022 into a, uh, to a tantalizing story to uh, give back to fans and supporters. Then we get to uh, another important section because um, as for the recruits rocket, they are operating economically in a slightly different way than the uh, speaker rockets itself. Um, all you fans and supporters out there, your support helps um, building and realizing the speaker rocket. When we're doing the recruits rockets here, we're trying to actually go out and uh, look for sponsorships, especially among companies as well. Because what these recruits rockets also help with is generating uh, some really, really good engineering materials for companies out there when, when these uh, uh, young people have finished their studies. So we definitely need two fundraisers to go look for company sponsorships, whether material or monetary, to help uh, build these and realize these rockets. Even though we can do rockets very cheaply in CS, we still can't do it for free. So we need to, we need to raise a little money. Then getting into the uh, more hands-on part, where we need people to be available uh, in or around Copenhagen, we're looking for four or five mechanical people. That includes people with uh, mechanical uh, ambitions for design, um, for manufacturing, and if people have machining experience or welding experience, that really helps too. Um, and since this is a recruits rocket, this is, you don't need to be a master of these things. You need to have an interest for it, and then we help you develop those skills and interests while we're doing the work here on the recruits rocket. Electrical people. We are saying we need about three. We do the electronics, the very simple electronics for the recruit rocket. We do those every year from scratch. Uh, it's important to learn the basics of the electronics, the sensors, the interaction, all the things that needs to make this rocket work. So we need three people with some embedded uh, ambitions who once have an, int or have an interest in this. And uh, then they will basically tie up the uh, the business logic of the rocket and implement that typically in the uh, in the flight computer of the rocket. Then we're looking for two software people because um, having the hardware is fine and testing it and knowing it works, but all this has to be tied up into the software layer on top of the of the embedded electronics layer that can uh, that can 
to, for example, a state machine of which states the rocket needs to go through during a flight. That's definitely a software task, as well as the interaction with the, with the ground station. Um, and then we're going to try something else. We're going to try and put in a couple of uh, people with, uh, let's say, pro project management ambitions. If you like to try and keep track of uh, something that can, that can easily get off or go off on itself in many different directions and want to try and keep people moving in the same direction, then we definitely need you for this project as well. Then we're opening up for, um, if we get a lot of applications, we have a backup solution that we can implement as well. Because flying rockets is fun, but having a special project on a rocket and fly that project as a separate extra uh, part of the project, that means that we can take up to lay about four uh, payload specialists if they want to do a scientific experiment, a practical experiment, something that might even have to be deployed at altitude to carry out a specific task. It will operate a little bit like a sort of an, a parallel independent project. So the interaction is only that the two needs to fly together eventually. So there is a lot of opportunity here. So if you wanna, if you wanna do stuff like this, and it is really fun, I, I can promise you that, then you need to go through the, uh, web, uh, the web contact a part of the Copenhagen Suborbitals webpage, put in a request for one of these positions or interests, and, uh, and just mark it as the uh, Recruits 2022. Um, then we'll sort through the, uh, the different uh, applications, and hopefully we can put together another killer team for doing wonderful rockets for, uh, for next year. Looking forward to hear from you. <laughs>